He was mm-hmm. a police officer and he abused that position to indulge in his own perverted sexual thinking and fantasies. It is a matter of great joy that he's been drummed out of the police, mm-hmm. but really it does ask the question, what are the police doing to police themselves and root out this abominable type of behaviour? Now, there will always be bad apples in every single industry, won't they? And it doesn't mean that the whole basket is bad, but there will always be individuals. But I guess the the question here is, what can you do about it, Peter, in terms of training? Is there anything that can be done during the training process or the vetting process for the police to, to unearth these particularly unpleasant characters who just clearly don't know right from wrong what maybe maybe this is just inevitable is it you're always going to have some slip through the net i'm not going to accept in the inevitability of wrong people being in the police yes of course some will join the police and their service and what they experience may distort their thinking but let's remember this adams character had 16 years service So any kind of vetting and selection process that he went through may not have really been relevant all those years ago. It may have been during the course of his service that his behaviour became so perverted. And in those kind of instances, it's really important that the police police themselves, that they spend enough time with each other, not only on duty, but off duty. And of course, that is frowned upon a little bit these days, so that they understand and know one another and they can whistleblow they Mm -hmm. can flag up concerns they can identify deeply disturbing behavior report it to the authorities be praised for that and not punished and therefore these kind of characters can be kicked into the dustbin of policing history